Hi everybody, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make that change happen, I'm bringing you this video today from the lovely island of Hispaniola, where I'm in a series of business meetings from the Blockchain Institute of Technology discussing the future growth of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency across the Caribbean. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from one of the students from the Blockchain and Bitcoin Fundamentals course from Blockchain Institute of Technology. And his question is, how is the price of Bitcoin determined? That's a great question, and I'll give you the answer right after this. I would like to begin this video on a block explorer. And if you're not familiar with what a block explorer is, it is a tool that actually lets you look into a blockchain, in this case, the Bitcoin blockchain, so you can see all the activity that's taking place. What you're seeing moving here is all the latest transactions that are being done on Bitcoin as people send and receive Bitcoins across the world. Now, one of the key things that you will know as you look into Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin is that the price of Bitcoin is actually determined by the market. That is, the price of a Bitcoin is determined by how much someone is willing to pay for that Bitcoin. In this case, you see BitsOnline.com has a price of $3,350.66. That price is different from the price, say, in Coinbase. In Coinbase, the price is listed as $3,310. And you see how there's a dramatic difference between the price here as in the price in Coinbase. I will now take you to another destination globally to China. This is Bitcoin and Bitcoin is an OTC or over-the-counter trading platform and they trade Bitcoin. What you find is that their price is in local currency. Furthermore, they list the price of all the different exchanges and you will see that the pricing between different exchanges is different. Some of them are wildly different. These variations in prices present a lot of opportunities for Bitcoin traders who conduct what is known as arbitrage, which is you can buy currency in one exchange and then go to another exchange to sell it. So to summarize and answer the question, the price of a Bitcoin is determined by the market, and that price may fluctuate depending who you're doing business with. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that I'll see you again in future videos. If you haven't already, I invite you to click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy.